Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryan here from FBAPodcast.com, and I wanted to go over just a you know a little bit about what my online arbitrage strategy is. And so, online arbitrage is new to me this year in 2016, but I really want to double down on it. I really want to find a good way that I can find and source products without going to the stores. Uh, I do love retail arbitrage, and I think there's a time and place for that. But right now, it's negative 17 degrees out. I'm in Minnesota, and I don't want to go to the stores, but I still want to improve my business. And so what I'm doing is I'm trying to get good at retail, uh, I'm sorry, at online arbitrage. Again, I want to keep doing the retail arbitrage thing. I think that's a great way to grow your business. And why not? Why wouldn't you just you know, incorporate that into your routine? But again, online arbitrage might be an easy way for me to bring products into my business so that I can you know, ship them off to Amazon and make some money. So this is what I'm thinking. Uh, I just purchased a month subscription to a new, um, a new, what do we even call it, software? To a new software called OA X-Ray. And I'm using that, I've been using it for the last week, and to be honest with you, I absolutely love it. And I'm going to, uh, in a minute, I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial of what it is and how I'm using it. But uh, it's, it's only been about a week now since that I've been using it. But so far, I absolutely love it, and I would recommend that you check it out for yourself. You do get a three-day trial, um, so go check it out. Uh, you know, it would be, um, I think it's well worth your time. And, you know, cancel it if you don't like it or if it doesn't do anything for you. But the, the pros and cons would be this. You know, the pros are it gives me a great list of items that I can sell. It's very easy to read, and it, it scans all the clearance items at Target and Walmart and Toys R Us and Home Depot and I think Foot Locker they just add. So all these different clearance sections, it scans and it gives me a report. And again, you'll see this in a few minutes. Uh, and so it's very easy to use, very easy to read. Then I can just place my order and uh, and I know what my profit margins are. So that's great. You know, the con is this, it, it's $100 a month right now. And so I need to sell enough products to make my money back. And so that's kind of what I'm juggling as I begin this adventure with OA X-Ray. Um, again, too soon to tell. I'm in only my first month using it, but I did just place a few sh uh, a few orders, you know, um, and I hope I'll get my money's back, you know, with that and then some. I should, you know. So anyway, let's go to the, the, the video. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm using it and give you a few examples of maybe how you could use it. And uh, yeah, so that's all I got for you. Uh, let's check this out. All right, so here we are at oaxray.com, and this is the site where if you wanted to try out this product, um, you know, it, it'd be here. It'd be at oaxray.com, and so you get a free trial. I, you know, the, tri the thing that stinks about it is it's only a three-day trial, so you really have to decide that you're going to jump in and, and, you know, give it that trial. So at the time of this, it's, you know, it's a three-day trial, but it does do some good things for you. So I'm going to go through it instead of making you read this long sales page here and just tell you, you know, exactly what I'm doing with OAX Ray. So, you know, I brought up Target.com, and this is a great site for finding clearance items because, again, they have them all in this nifty little clearance and deals section. So if you were to go to All Clearance, for example, and um, pick on, I don't know, let's say you are... Big into selling toys, okay? We just got done with the Christmas season. I think a lot of you probably have sold some sort of toys on Amazon. So maybe you're familiar with this. So I'll do that. Now, what happens is OA X-Ray is going to install just this little extension. You can see in the top right corner up here, it's that little you know, eyeglass and barcode icon there. So once I'm on this toys section, clearance section, I am going to go up to OA X-Ray and I'm going to click it. And now what this will do is it will fill in and populate a spreadsheet with all of the deals from Target's clearance section that's displayed on that page. And so if I go to the mini main tab here, and it's going to take a minute to populate this spreadsheet. But what it does is it shows me which items are, are listed here on the site, what they sell for on Amazon, what the low FBA price is, what they sell for on Walmart and Toys R Us and Target. And so it really, you know, it, it even goes so much as, you know, you can add it to a buy list. And so if you went over here and you're like, oh, um, well, let's, let's actually, let's just look at it. I'll just take you through what my process would be. So if I were to just do this right now, um, I would be looking at this, this sheet here 
and I would see, you know, there it is, the Disney Frozen Princess, you know, item right there. So I'm going to go over to OA X-Ray, and this is the sheet that it just populated for me by clicking on the icon. And I see, you know, this is the Camel 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 version of what's going on with that product. You can see that the price has been all over the place. The price has been all over the place, you know, from December, late December through January 16th. Uh, but it kind of stabilized down around you know, about four, four dollars, you know, five dollars um, per item. And I see that on Target, there it is, right there, selling for four dollars and ninety-eight cents an item. So I wouldn't take a chance on this item. I mean, you could. The sales rank is very, very low, which means it'll sell pretty, pretty darn quickly. But it, you know, the net profit right here is only about a dollar after. And you can, this is really cool because you can go over and you can see what the stocking fee is going to be. So I'm going to pass on that, that item, but let's go and let's just look for some more here. Um, so what is this next one? Play-Doh. Um, what do we have here? So Play-Doh, Amazon sells for 14 bucks. That's, you know, roughly, it looks like it's sold out a lot. So it must be a hot item. And then I, you know, I look over here to the sales rank and I see, yeah, it's 11,000. So it is selling out quite a bit. Um, so maybe it's a good opportunity for you to, to get in there. Let's just take a look at how many other sellers there are by looking at the Amazon listing. So if you click this, and I'm just going to open it in a new link, in a new tab, I mean. All right, so there it is right here. So you've got uh, the Play-Doh, Diggins, Riggs, Buzzsaw, Playset. Looks like it's sold out, so that might be a good item if you want to try to get a, an order into Amazon. You have to buy here, over here, through the buy box. Um, Looks like sixteen ninety six, sixteen ninety eight. Those are what it's selling for. This might be a good product for you to buy because you know it's going to run out quickly, and so you're going to be able to jump in and and get some sales. Also, you know it's got really good reviews, and this is something that I look for in my products all the time. Is how are how are customers reviewing it? So um, this actually would be a, a pretty decent product, and maybe I'll pick up a few. So I'll maybe I'll just take you through what that process would look like here. So I, I find this product. I see that at Target, I can get it for $7.04. I'm sorry, $7.40. All right, and I can, you know, jack up the quantity and put it in my shopping cart and all that. I'm going to see what the net profit is on this. So if I can get it for $7.40. So I go over here to OA X-Ray and I look at the fee and the fee looks to be about seven more dollars. So that actually brings me up to about 14 so the net profit's going to be pretty slim. It's going to be about a buck or two. You know, you can do. It's you know it's tough with that because it's only, you know, it's only a buck or two in profit. But you know if you can buy fifty of them and ship it into Amazon and and list them and sell out of them right away. I mean that's fifty bucks. You know obviously it's going to cost money to ship it in there and and all that sort of thing. So. Um, make sure you run your numbers and everything, but you know, it, I'm actually going to pass on it right now uh, because to me, it's just not, you know, a buck. Maybe I'm not in. I'm not in for that. I'm going to look for some something that's more worth my time. So um, looks like I had clicked that one to add to my buy list before, but now I unclicked it. So this is another cool feature. And again, you're just looking over my shoulder as I'm going through this, trying to explain it on the fly to you here. But if you were to, um, if you were to find a product that you like. You would just come over to this buy list, click that, and then it adds to a buy list here. And these are all products that I've liked. So maybe it'd be good to go through one of these. So let's go to, this is the product I'm going to order actually um, tonight. And it is a Philips Sonic Care Series Plaque Control, blah, 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 blah. And what it looks like on Amazon, I'll show you right now. Okay, it sells for about 60 two dollars there's only 15 left in stock it's got good reviews um, that's why it's flying off the shelves oh maybe this one's a, be the first to review it so i guess this one doesn't have any reviews um, but anyway 15 left in stock so it's flying off the shelves i go back to oa x-ray i'm gonna go down to the bottom here where'd it go my buy list come on okay and i like that because i can get it for you know 30 dollars here the amazon fee is gonna oops Come on now. Amazon's fee is going to be, sorry about this. You're just getting this live. You know, this is just a guy, I'm just a fellow seller like you. So uh, let's go to the buy list here. Okay, here we go. 
sorry. Um, so 1209 is going to be the the fee when this comes to um, Amazon. And so, you know, you add that to there, you're looking at about 50 some dollars. You can profit about, what's it say, 1075 and it's under 100,000. So that's probably a good product. It's going to sell quickly. There's only 15 left in stock. That's why it's on my buy list. So using OA X ray, I could just click on this button here. It will take me to where I can purchase it on Target, add it to my cart, and you know, buy, I don't know, let's buy a bunch of them, see what happens, right? There's just a really weird noise in my apartment. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's the that's apartment living, I guess. So I've got you know people upstairs that are um, you know, they've got young kids, so it's always weird noises in my apartment, I guess. All right, but but there it is, you know. So that so that is uh, that is OA X-ray in a nutshell. You know, it's it's a, a really sleek, really slick way to find awesome products and to analyze different different clearance sections online, so that you don't have to leave your house. And so you know, I go through this to take me. It's just part of my morning routine, really. You know, every morning I just wake up, I check OA X-ray on the popular sites I, I go to. Um, Walmart, I go to Toys R Us and Target and Kohl's and, and Macy's and, and Kmart and they keep adding new ones here too. So it's becoming more and more popular and it's just a great way to find products that and you know you can fit this into your schedule. That's kind of the beauty of this. So you know just wanted to make this quick video again just to show you exactly what, what I'm doing because I think that there's you know um, a lot of value in this and hopefully I can help some of you get started and maybe you want to dive into this. You know, it's again, it's pricey. So if you're not ready to spend hundred dollars a month on sourcing products, maybe this isn't the thing for you. Maybe you just want to stick with retail arbitrage and ramp that up until you're able to, you know, make some profits with with uh, with your business and then invest in OA X-ray. There's a lot of other features. I just covered the basics here for you. You can check out everything else over at uh, at oaxray.com. And um, you know, sign up for it. Let me know what you guys are using it for and your success in the comments below. I would love to hear, um, love to hear your thoughts on that. So, anyway, um, there it is. So take a look at that. Do what you will. Um, someone, look at this. This is someone else. This is probably really good. This is uh, lead pages. Um, someone just opted in for the Teach Me FBA course. <laughs> so you know, I'm getting a lot of people signing up for that Teach Me FBA course over at TeachMeFBA.com. Check it out. Um, that's my email reminder that someone just popped up. So that wasn't planned. That's just kind of how I get these emails constantly. I think over, you know, over two, I think it's 2,500 people have signed up for it. So anyway, at this point, I'm just rambling on. You guys have a great day today. Have a productive day today. And uh, let me know how you, what you thought of OA X-Ray. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of the FBA podcast. Take care.